morning dear students welcome to narayana rai classes today i am going to explain the key of 15th decade assignment okay so the first question is what is the average weather pattern taken over a long period of time say 25 years so the answer is climate answer the question number 1 is climate how the see we know very well that the weather is changed in the condition of the atmosphere on daily basis but when the pattern of this change is taken for a particular place over a long period that means for 20 to 25 years then it determines it gives the climate of that particular place for example the climate of jammu and kashmir is always cold the climate of rajasthan is hot and dry okay so the answer to question number 1 is climate now question number 2 is name any two temperatures which you know any two temperatures so the answer is what type of what are the two types of temperatures maximum temperature and minimum temperature the temperature are maximum and minimum temperatures now what is the meaning of maximum and minimum temperature maximum means the temperature which is actually taken for a day at 12 in the noon that comes out to be maximum for a day and the temperature which is taken at 5 in the morning that is the minimum temperature of the day fine now the question number 3 is name the elements of the weather the elements of the weather so we know what are the elements of the weather that means on what basis weather of a particular place is defined or calculated so the elements of the weather are answer is first of all the first element is temperature first element is temperature what is the maximum temperature or minimum temperature the second element is rainfall the third temperature is humidity how humid what is the now what is humidity the amount of moisture or water vapor in the atmosphere so the third element of the weather is humidity how humid is the atmosphere how much amount of water vapor is present in the atmosphere and the last but not the least is the wind speed at what speed the wind so these four things are basically the elements elements means they define they describe the weather of a place where the temperature is maximum minimum uh, is the fall is there today then humidity if you have observed the newspapers or the weather report in the news channels which is given on daily basis so they give the maximum and the minimum temperature of a particular place then they predict prediction is there about rainfall is going to happen or not how humid is the weather and the wind speed suppose a cyclone is coming then prediction is there that a wind speed as high as 100 or 110 km per hour the wind should be going so these are the elements of the weather now the fourth question is who reports weather every day we come to know about the weather report every day so who reports the weather every day so a scientist the scientists who reports the weather every day for us they are known as meteorologists so the answer to question number 4 is meteorologists these are the scientists who report weather and depending on those four elements okay the wind speed the temperature the amount of moisture that is humidity and temperature okay so meteorologists records weather every day and that weather report we come to know through the news channels and the newspapers 
Now, the fifth question is, name the two countries in the polar region. In the polar region, name of the two countries. As we know, what is meant by polar region? The regions which are present at the poles. This is North Pole and this is South Pole. So, the countries which comes under these two regions of North and South Pole are known as countries in the polar regions. So, the countries which are present in the polar region are Canada, then Iceland, Greenland, and Norway. These are the major countries which are there in the polar region. Now, the sixth question is, name a migratory bird. Name a migratory bird. So, migratory bird, as we know that these birds, they flew far away from these polar regions which are present near the pole where there is too cold during the winters. As soon as the winter sets in during the month of November, the temperature goes as down as minus 37 degrees centigrade. So to avoid that extreme climatic conditions, they flew away from there to other countries. Our countries also is one of them where my baby birds came and name of that bird is answer is Siberian Crane. Siberian Crane. Okay. So this is a migratory bird which comes to our country every year in the month of November and when the summer starts to come during the month of March, they flew back to their country. Now, the seventh question is write two adaptations Round two adaptations which can be seen in penguins for adapting in polar regions. We know that penguins are present, are uh, uh, they live in the polar region. So the two adaptations which are present in the penguin which help them to adapt to live in that extreme climatic conditions. So the answer to the question number seven is that they have first of all streamlined body they have streamlined body secondly they have a presence of presence of fat layer under their skin they have presence of fat layer how much if we just see what is the shape of the penguin? Steam line. Steam line means tapering at the ends and bulging in the middle. So this is a steam line body and yes, if you have seen the penguin in, uh, in TV televisions, then it, it is very fatty, very bulky. So it has fat layer, fat layer under the skin which keep it warm. And the third adaptation is it has webbed feet. The feet of the penguin is webbed like this. So this webbed feet help the penguin to walk easily in the snow because it is snow everywhere in the polar region. Presence of webbed feet. Webbed feet. So it helps to walk easily in the snow and this web feet help the penguin to swim also in the water. Okay, so these are the key adaptations of the penguin. Now the eighth question is, what are the adaptations present in the polar bear so that it can survive in the polar region? Adaptation in polar bear. We know that polar bear is also one of a very famous animal which is present there in the polar region. Again, to avoid cold, it has first of all its body covered with fur. Its body is covered with fur. Then it has a presence of Fat layer again, presence of 
fat layer under the skin and again it has also pores its pores okay its feet these are its pores okay so it has this shape of pores which help help to walk in snow walk in snow as well as it helps it to swim also so again these the adaptations are present in the polar bear it has its body is covered with fur okay and it has a fat layer under the skin these two adaptation help the body of the polar bear help it to keep itself warm in that extreme climatic conditions which is very very cold and the paws help to walk in snow as well as in swimming also now the eighth question is Nine question is adaptation is important. Question number nine is adaptation. We are studying about so many adaptation in different types of animals. So adaptation is important for dash of the animal. What could be there in dash for the survival of the animal? So the answer to question number nine is survival. The adaptation, whatever adaptation we are studying in many of the animals, so these adaptations help the animals to survive in a particular climatic conditions. So adaptation helps in the survival of the animals. Now question number ten is give the names of any two animals present in the tropical rainforest region. Okay. tropical rain forest region we know that that is warm and humid and many varieties of animals are found over there so the names of the animals which are found in tropical rain forest first of all it is red eyed frog red eyed frog then a bird named toucan then Lion tail macaw. This is also termed as bearded ape. It is termed as bearded ape. And one more animal is new bird monkey. New bird monkey. So these are the animals which red eye frog to can is a bird. Lion tail macaw and new bird monkey. these are the animals which are found in tropical rainforest so these are the answers of the quiz of 15 dated i hope you have understood bye for now thank you so much